Hello guys, welcome back to my blog. Today I'm doing something a little bit different and it isn't beauty related for once. It is what's in my gym bag. I've been seeing a lot of these on YouTube recently so I thought I'd give it a go because I do go to the gym twice or three times a week depending on how busy I am because obviously I've got uni too. So I always make sure I have a packed gym bag in my car if I am hoping to go to the gym after uni or before work. This is my gym bag. It was only from Primark. It's just a cheap, cheerful hold all bag. I mainly got it because at the time I was really into the tech always kind of minty colour and also polka dots are like my go-to pattern. It was probably about £10 at the time I bought it last summer so I'm not sure if they do it anymore but it has lasted ages considering it's from Primark and I have a lot of stuff in it nothing's broken at all like it's still great condition. So let's dig right into it. First things first I'm going to show you my trainers. These are Nike Jewel Fusion trainers. Um, I bought them last summer. Well I say I bought them, my fiance actually paid for half of them as an early anniversary present. Um, but they were probably roughly about £50 at the time from Sports Direct. Um, I mainly went for them because of the colour, obviously. Um, at the, as I said at the time, I was very into turquoise colour. They have this really nice pattern on the mesh part, which is kind of a little bit like leopard print, but it's kind of swirly and white and turquoise. And then obviously it's got the purple detailing as well. They are a little bit tough. But the reason I bought them was because my knees were hurting when I started jogging last summer and someone suggested to me that maybe it was because the trainers I was wearing weren't good enough. So I went out and got these and actually these are pretty much like walking on clouds, they're really comfortable. Like I said they're a little bit hard around the front, I would highly recommend these. Next thing I've got is a water bottle, obviously it's very important to stay hydrated while you're working out. Um, I tend to go through one of these in a time at the gym so it's important to replace the fluids that you're sweating out. Other than like the obvious things, I've also got towels, uh, one for me, one for my fiance because he doesn't take his own, he doesn't even have a gym bag so that is his as well, not just mine. Um, and I also have my little phone holder thing that I put on my arm. I have loads of hairbands, other obvious things I have in my gym bag, earphones because obviously you can listen to the TV and music, I've got my gym key, I also have my inhaler. Always make sure I have some form of healthy snack in my gym bag, otherwise I am very tempted to go to the vending machine after a workout, purely because when I've been working out sometimes I do feel a little bit dizzy afterwards. I'm not really sure why that is, but I tend to need to just have something until I get home because quite often I'm going home to eat dinner. Um, this is the Special K Biscuit Moments chocolate, which I've actually only just started eating, but they are really, really good. Now we've done the generic gym stuff, I'm moving on to my gym beauty bag. I actually have two, I have one that's wet stuff, so like shampoos and stuff, and one that's just generic beauty stuff. Obviously first things first, hairbrush. And then I've got deodorant, this is the one I tend to use on a daily basis, it's the Nivea Invisible for black and white deodorant. Dry shampoo, because sometimes you're going to the gym and you're going straight away to somewhere, but you don't have time to shower, so this is great for getting the grease out of your hair and giving you a bit more volume. Make sure you brush it out though because sometimes it can leave um, like grey residue on your hair. I also have a heat protection spray which is in one of those holiday bottles but that's purely because I took it on holiday to Scotland with me and thought it was a good idea to put it in my gym bag because then I don't need a full size product in there. So it saves space. Um, it also means if you do dry your hair after having a shower you can make sure it is protected. I believe the heat protection spray I've got in here at the moment is the Aussie Take the Heat one which I love and have been using for a good couple of years now. Body spray wise, I don't take expensive perfume to the gym. I've got one of the Victoria's Secret body sprays. This is the Wild Strawberries and Champagne one which always reminds me of holiday. It's a refreshing formula infused with conditioning, aloe vera and calming chamomile so it's quite nice to spray after the gym, it's quite refreshing when you're feeling hot. And then obviously I've got a comb and clips just in case I am blow drying my hair because my hair is quite thick so I need to make sure it's in sections when I blow dry it or it takes forever to blow dry. Lastly in the beauty section of my gym bag I've got these cleansing facial wipes from Superdrug which gently cleanse and purify and remove waterproof mascara. That's because sometimes when I go to the gym, I'm kind of, obviously, like I said, I'm going straight from uni, so sometimes I'm wearing a full face of makeup. It's not a good idea to wear a full face of makeup to the gym because you can't sweat properly. So obviously that will be bad for your skin and can cause breakouts. Now moving on to my shower part of my gym bag. This is, again, just from Primark. In fact, all of the bags that I take to the gym are from Primark, just because obviously I wanted something cheap to just take with me. These are the Garnier Ultimate Blend the colour illuminator with argan oil and cranberry which smells so good like I don't use these 
on a daily basis because they're quite small and I'd go through that so quickly because my hair is quite long and I tend to need quite a little bit of shampoo and quite a lot of conditioner. And then I've got my body wash which is the passion fruit splash shower gel made by Radox which again smells so good. I've also got my simple kind of skin moisturising facial wash in my shower bag because when I have a shower I tend to always want to wash my face. At home I wouldn't use this um, on a daily basis either but again it's a nice quick and simple way to uh, give your face a nice wash when you get out of the gym. So that is everything that is in my gym bag. If you'd like to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section down below if you're watching on YouTube and you can also comment if you're on my blog. Funnily enough I'm actually about to go to the gym now anyway so I'll see you in my next video.